Hi everyone, John Kozeski here with the Chamber of Commerce, your small business advocate. In this new COVID-19 world, we've never been more aware of the importance of cleaning and sanitation. And so to that end, I thought I would invite for our distant socializing today, the, uh, the local expert in, in cleaning and sanitizing, uh, Dan Olson with Jan Janie King. Dan, how are you? Good morning, John. I'm doing great. Fantastic. Well, Dan, uh, certainly most importantly, uh, we're, we're starting to come out of quarantine, but uh, you, your family, employees, everyone uh, was uh, safe and healthy, I hope? They are, yeah. And I've got actually uh, two daughters who are in the healthcare world, so they've been hard at it. Uh, no, no home quarantine for my family. And uh, third daughter, who's a nursing student, will be a senior, and she's starting an internship at the clinic in a couple of weeks. So I've got three frontline workers and uh, my wife works for Hershey, and believe it or not, they were considered a vital uh, company. So all the people that are at home eating Reese's peanut butter cups uh, have my wife to thank. She's out there making sure that uh, the stock is uh, plentiful. You know, Dad, I was uh, going to say thank you to your daughters for being heroes, but now I'm starting to think your wife might be the hero of all of them. So uh, a big thank you to her. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> Well, Dan, uh, for anybody watching who's not familiar, could you tell us uh, a little bit about the history of Janney King? Certainly. Uh, we're a 50-year-old company based out of Dallas, Texas. Um, we're the world's uh, largest franchise commercial cleaning company. So uh, our model is a little bit different than the conventional cleaning companies out there. So um, Janney King of Cleveland supports about 200 local franchisees just in Northeast Ohio. Um, so we're, we're kind of the cleaning company that doesn't clean. Our franchisees do the actual day in day out work, uh, but we do many things behind these scenes to um, put them in business and keep them in business. Um, so our clients, as we like to say, get the best of both worlds. We've got a very large corporation uh, supporting the effort, uh, but when you work with Janet King here on the local level, you truly are buying local. You're supporting the local family owned business. And that's what we like to hear. That's what we're here to do. So, Dan, tell us a little bit. Uh, obviously, all of our businesses have changed. We've all had to adapt in what we're doing. So tell us how COVID has changed. Uh, well, first of all, how it affected your business and how it changed the way you operate. Sure. Um, very much feast or famine. Um, when this hit, we had a lot, a lot of large companies that have been cleaning for years close their doors. And obviously, uh, that meant no cleaning. That's a big revenue hit for us. On the flip side, a lot of our uh, healthcare and other accounts that didn't close came to us and said, hey, we need more. We want you here more often or maybe more hours when you're here, more disinfecting. And disinfecting has been kind of the buzzword because you're really clean for aesthetics when you're talking general office and you disinfect restrooms. Uh, healthcare accounts generally disinfect a lot of areas. So, um, you know, the feast and the famine balanced out a little bit over the last few weeks. Um, where it's affected my direct staff is uh, we, we inspect buildings. Part of our, our pledge to the client is not only putting a great owner operator in the building to clean it, but I've got a full staff here in Broadview Heights that uh, canvases the accounts and makes sure that they're being cleaned to our standards. With COVID hitting, we really haven't entered many buildings for, for obvious reasons. That's really been difficult for us because it's really something we like to stay close to uh, with inspections and the, the oversight that we provide. Um, but that's starting to return a little bit to normal, uh, which we're liking. Um, as people are returning now, we're just getting an influx of uh, all sorts of phone calls and questions, uh, people looking for help as they kind of navigate that return to work. Uh, because it, as you can imagine, a lot of people are really uh, nervous about coming back to their place of employment because they're not certain what they're coming back to. Um, so our last couple of weeks have been really busy with just coaching people through the startup and uh, things that we can do uh, coming back into the building. And I would say that uh, we're really seeing a change. Uh, the expectations of, the, of what people expect from their commercial cleaning company are rapidly changing. Uh, things you wouldn't have thought of a, a few weeks ago. Um, you know, people say, hey, um, I want dedicated equipment. I don't want vacuums coming in and out of my building. <laughs> I want to know exactly what chemicals you're using. What disinfectant are you using? These are questions we never received before. So it's uh, very interesting times. That is, and it's uh, you know a, a negative because I'm sure that's a little bit of a headache, but also a positive that people are taking this so very seriously and, and, and really thinking of things they hadn't in the past. Correct. That's great. That's great. Well, uh, Dan, I think I know the short answer to this uh, is going to be just call us. But uh, let's say people are getting back to work or bringing their employees back. 
What is some advice you would give them in terms of preparing their office and in, in, in getting it clean and sanitized and ready to go? Um, great question. I would say um, definitely be aware of the fact that cleaning and disinfecting are two distinctly different tasks. You know, people kind of confuse those, and that those are some things that are coming out, out now with the questions. Um, so we can coach you through what might be best for your building as far as general cleaning versus disinfecting. We developed a myriad of um, checklists that are interactive or emailable, but they're very easily to put in front of people um, so they can go through and check what areas of the building uh, down to you know specific things that might be on your desk that they may or may not want uh, disinfected each night. So we've got a we've got a list of things that can um, help them you know kind of prepare for the return or, or um, put an action plan in place, if you will. Um, the other thing is when you when you talk disinfectants, um, ask us about what we might recommend for your specific space because there's a little thing called the EPA M list out there which people. Um, look at now because it's kind of in the media about is it an approved disinfectant um, but all disinfectants were not uh, created equal there's there's a little thing called dwell time that has to do with how quickly a given disinfectant will kill a known pathogen and um, there, there's a lot of ins and outs here we can coach it through that that's fantastic yeah you know dan another part that came up in this conversation that i wasn't aware of before is that the, the services you provide to people that want to want to start their own franchise. So, you know, if we have some aspiring entrepreneurs out there, what, what does that process look like and how do they go about it? Great question again. Um, yeah, we, we really have a wide variety of people that are, are, are um, franchisees. I've got attorneys, I've got former real estate executives, uh, down to people that once cleaned for an existing franchisee then uh, broke out on their own. So the good news is you don't have to have a cleaning background to get into, into a franchise. And that's the reason people come to us. It's much like any type of franchise, we're the support arm. So we, we help them get into business and that includes extensive training and then support after they're in business. Uh, one of the things we're quite proud of is we, we tout uh, one of the lowest cancellation percentages of, of any Janet King office in the country. Uh, last year, our cancellation percentage was uh, under 1%. Um, and we led the whole uh, country in cancellation percentage. So we feel that's because of the mechanisms and the oversight that we have in place. So if someone's looking to franchise, whether they, they own a burger franchise and want to just expand the horizons, or they're kind of tired of the corporate rat race and they want to do their own thing, we'd love to speak with them. They can contact me directly, and um, we'll just coach them through it and give them a lot of information. That's fantastic. What a great opportunity for everybody. Well, Dan, we are almost out of time, but uh, we, we're starting to come out of quarantine now. It looks like you're back in the office, and it sounds like you may not have even had that much time off to start with. But uh, while we were all on lockdown, did you become a, uh, a classical painter or learn the violin or anything else? Um, you know, it's, it is a, it, as much as I've been in the office because we didn't close. So we, and I feel thankful for that because people I've spoken with that have been at home have really been you know, climbing the walls, but when at home, I've been at home because there really hasn't been much to do. So, um, I'm, I'm an avid reader and, um, uh, kind of an interesting thing. I, 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 I challenged myself to actually read the entire Bible in 2000. Wow. <laughs> um, and I set out to do that with a, a 1700 page version of the daily Bible, which was really great. It was chronological and it was meant to be read from January 1st to December 31st. I finished it on mother's day. Um, <laughs> So I, I kind of read ahead. So that was, that was really an interesting read. And uh, so I, I killed a lot of spare time with that. It was great. And uh, 14, my, my uh, number one passion is golf. And thank God they have not closed the golf course. So I was <laughs> able to get out and enjoy the outdoors. So, uh, yeah, reading and golf really kept me um, occupied you know, in my home time. Well, Dan, I could always use a little advice on the Bible and also on my drives. So uh, I, I might be calling you one way or the other. <laughs> I'm here for you. Perfect, perfect. Well, Dan Olson of Janny King, if your office is in need of uh, cleaning and sanitizing, this is the place to go. Or if you're looking to start your own business, what a wonderful opportunity. All of their information is right here on the screen. Certainly feel free to reach out. Dan, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. And thank all of you for watching. That's all the time we have. In the meantime, keep safe, keep healthy, and keep shopping local.